We don't have anything else. If anybody has any announcements or anything they want to make. We've got the uh, got your SCV membership cards. If you haven't picked one up tonight, come and see me. I got your membership card. We have those. See Joe before you leave. Don't forget about the email that'll be coming out here next week or so about the field field trip we're going to look at. If you're interested, you're invited to go, Joe. Uh, please respond back to the email. How many is interested in going so we can get a head count and see what it's going to cost per person. Uh, does anybody else have any uh, Yes, we do have uh, an event coming up next month, the 16th and 17th, at the Walter State Expo Center. It'll be the first time we've done anything in that time of year here. Uh, but it's going to be a car show, inside car show, so it's going to be heated. So hopefully we can have a good show and we'll have battle flags for sale and tell them about our ancestors. So. Come be with us. It's a two-day event, Saturday and Sunday, the 16th and 17th of January. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, the first weekend of February is the uh, Stephen Dill Lee Institute. It's going to be in Columbia, South Carolina. And, uh, and one of the things, the, the uh, topic for this year is reconstruction. And I don't know about y'all, I, I spend most of my time uh, studying on the causes of the war, the constitutionality, uh, the reasons for secession, the, the, the moral and, and, and legal right to secede, the battles, the leaders. But you know what? I am very ignorant. I am very ignorant on Reconstruction. And let me just say this. As we enter the 150th anniversary of, the, uh, of Reconstruction, uh, our enemies, the people who are, who are the, the academia, I can already tell you that they have, they have a website and they have all kinds of materials attacking us. For reconstruction and we need to arm ourselves with the knowledge of what reconstruction is so that we can defend and and and, 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 def and defend our ancestors and be able to do so with knowledge because knowledge is the way that we're going to fight we're going to fight this and uh, so I would I just tell y'all that this is available to y'all Every, every member of the SCV and anybody else, UDC, anybody else is, is more than welcome to be there. Um, SCV members, are, if you have $25 deduction on it, so, but it is a wonderful thing and it's very hot academic history. It drives them crazy that this 150 year social experiment is still not worked and we're still unreconstructed. Yeah. Still here, that's yeah. right. Uh, there's, there's going to be another event coming up at headquarters. Uh, when is that? Yeah, um, the, uh, the headquarters at, at uh, Elm Springs uh, is, it does a uh, annual um, uh, annual Southern Heritage Festival. Uh, last this year we did it on the 10th of October. Uh, from now on, we're going to do it on the uh, weekend of, of uh, Veterans Day. Uh, so I know that some some people are already Veterans Day parades. We want you to still be in that. But uh, we're going to honor uh, veterans, Confederate veterans, uh, along with other the, all the, everything else that makes us Southern at Elm Springs. We're going to have uh, uh, reenactors from uh, Native Americans, Revolutionary War, all the way up to present. Uh, so we'll have a timeline of reenactors, but it's a, it's a time for us to, to celebrate who we are as a people. And let me just say this, is that uh, we, we must do these things. And, and because uh, traditions go away when we no longer celebrate them. As long as we celebrate who we are, as long as we are who we are and celebrate and, and demand that we you know, can carry on those traditions, they're not going away. And, and that's one of the things I said earlier is, you know, you can take away our monuments, but you know what? We're still here. We're always going to be here. You're going to have to kill me to, to, to take from my heart my love for our ancestors. And if you believe in that, you got two options. You can either live it or you can bury your head in the sand. And I know you gentlemen and you ladies, you know, y'all are not the latter. Y'all are the former. And God bless y'all. I'm so proud of y'all. Thank you, sir. Would you like to touch my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got Commander's Kyle coming up on last Saturday in January 11th. This has been good for the division. Keep that in mind. And some of what Michael talked about, we're going to touch on a little bit. 
what our enemies do because we need to get better prepared and educate ourselves. And Michael and I, we've had some long talks about this, as well as Commander Holly and I. And that's sort of going to be the direction that this organization is going to build into. I feel like they educate themselves more, making everybody more aware about our, in our enemies in this reconstruction now. And yeah, we're going to be hit by a second wave with each coming first year. Right now, update, uh, as far as I know at this time and place, State of Tennessee, we're in good shape with our license plates, okay? I'm hearing some things going on. Uh, some of them will do a flag rally and stuff. That's the worst thing we can do on the Capitol Hill in Nashville right now. And I've been working on some more things you know. When I pull the trigger on it, everybody has to act and contact your elected officials when the time is appropriate. And uh, as part of what Jason and I was doing this past week, I'm trying to work on that some more. Because we got to be proactive, not reactive. And that's been part of a problem a lot of these years, been too complacent on things. Also, have more flags on order. They're on the, that slow boat from China. <laughs> and and they'll be at headquarters. We, we lumped all eight in with one big shipment. It's a cost effective for all of us. And we're just trying to get ready for March to build. And there's a lot of uh, 18 inch. Uh, the uh, stick flags and as well as some more through the five flags. We still have those in the inventory and we just need to spread those around as well as the comic books and different <laughs> Just keep on passing around, spreading around, and uh, keep doing good fight. Again, I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and have a safe and happy holidays. Uh, we'll dismiss all that. Dear Lord Jesus, let us all have a good Christmas this year. Let us all have a good year to come. Let us all get home safely tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs>